Jason Ryan for Space Vidcast. I'm Orlando, Florida today to check out the student-led team of the Google Lunar X Prize, Omega Envoy, under the uh, umbrella corporation, Earthrise Space Inc. We're going to take a behind-the-scenes tour of their rover that's on the horizon to go to the moon one day. Hey, Jason. Hey, Ruben. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. This is Ruben Nunez. He is the director of Omega Envoy. So you're going to show us some cool stuff today? Oh, yeah, definitely. Come on in. Well, let's get started. Let's go. This is actual hardware that will be going on our fourth rover prototype, and some of it will be going on our actual flight-ready rover for the mission. Now, can you give us an idea of some of the basics of what we're looking at right now? All right, so I'll start from over here. This is a um, motor with a planetary gearhead meant for Earth-based applications here for our fourth rover prototype. The one that we will be using uh, for the actual mission will be much smaller, and the issue uh, with that is because here we're dealing with 9.81 meters per second squared, obviously, and on the moon it's one-sixth that, so we won't be needing as much torque on the surface on the, of the moon. Now, I have, a, I have a personal question, but is it also weight related? Because I know weight is like everything. You gotta make sure things are light as possible. Does that play into it some as well? Exactly, well, most of the components um, that are being integrated in the fourth prototype uh, will hopefully be under a total of 12 kilograms. But for the actual flight ready one, it should be definitely under 12 kilograms. Of course, this is our, one of our whiteboards, many whiteboards here, and uh, I'll tell you a quick story of what, what happened with this. Is uh, I had my last final before I graduated from UCF. Uh, it was a propulsion exam, and I, and I drank a couple energy drinks <laughs> in the middle of the night studying, mm -hmm. and I couldn't sleep because I was worried about the exam and also thinking about the project, and I just had so many ideas in my head that I just came here 5 a.m. because I couldn't sleep. And you came here at 5 in the morning? I came here at 5 in the morning because I had all this, all these ideas in my head and I had to just dump it somewhere. Right. And I like to dump it in the, like a big area, right? So somewhere that I can see with colors and code it that way. So I pretty much wrote everything on this board in an hour. Okay, so, and, and it pretty much just says what Earthrise Space Incorporated's intentions are besides the Omega Envoy because that's, I mean, that's our main project right now. So what you're basically telling me is this is, for all intents and purposes, your business plan. This is pretty much our business plan on the whiteboard, yes. Uh, this is a motor controller for the motors. For one of, one of these motors here? Yes, exactly, okay. for one of these motors. And, and then right here next to it are the space qualified solar cells that were provided to us. Like, and at the moment I cannot mention the sponsor. But eventually, for now, for, for now, now for yeah, now, for now, that's cool. For now, but eventually yeah. we will go over the solar cells again and the way they're going to be assembled. I do have one question. You know how many of those individual ones are going to be on the rover, by any chance? At the moment, the, uh, we have a rough estimate. Uh, there's going to be about uh, 140 of them. There's roughly going to be 140 of those on there? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, would init I would highlight um, what the overall idea of Earthrise Space Incorporated is, and mainly, first off and foremost, is... STEM education, um, because there's so many students out there that don't find science, technology, mathematics, or engineering interesting anymore. So, because they don't get to work on these things hands on. So this is what we're bringing to students. We have this facility, we have a machine shop being set up right now. We have all this equipment that we need to work on and it's actually gonna go on a space mission. And with this space mission. So let me ask you this. Okay. Do you think the students will find it boring knowing that they're in college right now and something that they're working on with their own hands could one day be rolling around the sea of tranquility around Neil Armstrong's boot prints? Something they built could photograph a piece of space history. That's basically what you're saying. Yeah, pretty much that's what I'm saying. And it's, and it's really exciting. I mean, it's really exciting for me. Uh, at first, when the competition started, I really told myself, wow, I could actually send something to the moon and there's actually a competition on this and I can win 20 million dollars. Yeah, that doesn't hurt, does <laughs> no, it? No, it doesn't hurt.
Well, I'm looking at what is a mill, and they got one of their staff here that's toiling away on it. Uh, what's your name, sir? Joe Palaya. And you're you're what? What are you doing right now? What's your role? Oh, I uh, they brought me in to degrease and get this uh, milling machine up and running. So you're uh, kind of you're, I guess you have a degree in like what? You're a mechanic. I have a master's degree in nuclear engineering from MIT. Really? 